Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you guys are having a great day. I do have a fan in the back of the room. I hope it's not too loud. Um, I've turned my volume up, so maybe you guys won't hear the fan so much. Um, I have a lot here that I got purchased from Shop Goodwill. It is 17 pounds. And here's one bag. Don't forget your thumbs up, guys. There's this part of it. Looks pretty good. And then here's the other part of it. And another part of it. And that's the way it was bagged in the box. The box is right here. The box. And it is from Min. MN, Minnesota. Or New no, let me check. This one is from um, Minnesota. So I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, so we'll get started on this. And um, I think I upset somebody yesterday, but if if I you know, come across, I don't know, I wasn't trying to get political in any way or, you know, I'm not going into the politics, the religion, none of it. I just care about my friends. I want you guys to all be safe. You know, if you don't want to wear a mask, hey, that is fine with me. You don't have to. It's totally up to you. So when I said for people to wear their mask, that's if they want to um wash their hands and stuff that's if they want to which kind of sounds stupid but i mean most people do wash their hands um so there are people there are people that believe that you know masks are not good for you and that it's all a big government conspiracy and hey that's fine that doesn't change anything about our friendship the fact you're on my channel and watching videos it's not going to be discussed. I don't want to hear any more about it. Um, just please stay safe, and I hope everyone is well. So we'll just put that out there. But that's not what this video is about or this channel is about. But I have the right, as this is my channel, to wish you all well. And if I think, you know, that I'm overstepping my bounds, I'm going to come on and say, look, it's up to you what you do. Um, I just thought, you know, you guys would like to know what's going on on this side of the world or this side of the country or from wherever you're at. I've got people that watch this from Australia, and I think it's embarrassing that, um, you know, people in the United States are really kind of laxing when it comes to this covid as far as knowledge and things like that. So, do whatever it is you want to do. I just want you to stay healthy and well. Okay, guys, here we go. I'm just going to start pulling pieces out. I see some beauties already. Oh, my goodness. So, this channel is not going to go from a beautiful, friendly, happy channel to something really kind of out of control. I'm putting a stop to it today. Um, anybody that comments, I will um, delete their comment. So we're not going to go there. We're going to have this as a positive, loving, beautiful channel with beautiful jewelry, with beautiful friendships. And I hope everyone agrees. And this looks like some really, really nice jewelry. So I'm hoping... I'm not sure what this is. Oh, my. Okay. Anyway. Okay. I've pulled out a few things. And the first thing I see that's really, really kind of cute is this stretch bracelet. It's really tight. And it is plastic. But it looks like um, kind of like a frosted stone. It's pretty cool. I like it. And it's... It's that resin. I like it. Isn't that cool? 
And you've got kind of a dark there that's then you've got the swirl pattern there with a little bit of that frosty color in it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So let's put three on the bracelet. I'm going to be stacking things over here, so let me move my phone. And I'll put this here. Here is a brace, a necklace that is a donut and an artisan piece of glass. It's just beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Now this could go on something else. This is just a plain old silk cord. Just tie it up here. That donut is beautiful. It looks like obsidian. I'm not sure what it is, but it sure is pretty. It's got a lot of extra shine to it. And then this piece of glass is lovely. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So let's put four on this. And the string is, oh, goodness. About 32 inches. Very long. Very pretty. Okay, there's some pieces I'm going to put over here. And we'll look at them in a little bit. Uh, let's do this necklace. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to try to speak up. I think some people are having a hard time hearing me sometimes. Um, sometimes I mumble to myself and I'm not really talking to you guys. And it's just, I'm just, yeah. <laughs> just a mumbler. Okay, so you guys, this is beautiful. I do not know if that's stone or not. Wow. It's cold. Whoops, something fell. I don't believe this is sterling, but we can test it here real quick. Out the way, get out the way. Let's see here. Yeah, let's just give this a little test. I doubt it. But we can try. And this is just gorgeous. I'll let you guys look at it. It's got seed beads that look like maybe they're lapis. I don't know. And a green seed bead. Nope, it didn't turn blue, guys. Darn it. So it's just a, some type of a mixed metal here, but it's just a beautiful piece. Look at the shine. Um, so that could be reconstituted where they grind it up and pour it and put it into this, or it could be, I don't know. But even these little seed beads feel cool. This is lovely. This is approximately, let's see here. It's almost 18 inches. So this is very, very nice. I spin the, there we go. Spin that back. So this is just beautiful. Let's see if I can bend this back. There we go. Okay, and when you see a wire kind of out of place, especially if it's got beads on it, you can kind of bend it back carefully, just kind of give it a little mush. There we go. Okay, so let's put six on this one. It's gorgeous. It's got the um, double hook and eye here. Very, very nice, guys. I don't see any markings. Yeah, so we'll just do six. It's just beautiful. Okay, next we have a hematite heart. I've seen quite a bit of these. Very pretty. And it is 18 inches. It's just beautiful. It's not magnetic upon itself. Um, let's do four. Okay, what was that I dropped? Oh, it's pretty. Hold on. I'm waiting to drop something and then fall off this chair. 
that would make a video and a half. I bet you I get a lot of views. Okay, this is kind of unusual, guys. This is pretty. Look at this medallion. I like this. Hold on here. It's just a silver tone. It's not sterling or anything, but boy, is it shiny and pretty. My goodness. The back is beautiful, too. And it's going up on kind of like the... It's almost like a leather rope. Leather string. And I do believe it's leather. I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure. And these just kind of... Let's see. Yeah. They just kind of hang to the right and the left. That is just beautiful. And this looks absolutely brand new. So let's put five on this. And there is no maker's mark. Very pretty. Oh, these are tangled. Hold on here. Very pretty. This looks like 1928. Let's see if there's a tag. No. Nope. This is a beautiful, like an antiqued gold, kind of a matte frost. Very, very pretty. With this little tassel. Isn't that nice? I'll show it to you here. There. Okay. I'll show it to you on this. Isn't that pretty? Wow, I like that. Okay, let's put um, let's put four on this one. It's super long. It's probably about 26 inches. The gold tone looks pretty good. There you go. That's pretty. Now make our mark. Let's see. This is pretty. Okay, this is an older fold-over. This does have some wear. Somebody must have really liked it. It's got wear, but the only wear you really see is on the fold-over. But I see a broken spot. But that's okay. It's broken right there, guys. I can't sell it. But that's all right. If anybody's interested in it, of course, they can have it for a dollar, but it is definitely broken. And there's really no coming back. But these panels are cute. Okay, I'll set that over here. This is pretty. Ooh. Let me see. Hold on. And those feel cold. This is more of a vintage piece. Let me get the loop out and see if I think these are stones. They're cold. Hold on here. Mm, questionable. I think these are ceramic. Yeah, I think these are ceramic beads, but this is really, really sweet. It's just like a bar. With some blue beads with some um, gold tone little swirls in between. I'll just kind of sits like this. Come on. So it's really pretty. I'll put three on this. It is approximately. It's about 15 inches. No, it's not. It's 14 inches. Okay, we'll put three. I'll wait on those. Let's pull out some more. How's that sound? Let me put this over here. Oh, here's one. Oh, here's one. Oh, this is pretty. Oh my goodness. Summertime fun. Wow. This is uh, EL. EL. And I've seen this before. L. Okay, anyway, it is really pretty. So we'll be, we've got some mother of pearl, we've got some glass, some like um, 
almost lamp work swirl glass here um, those are glass this is pretty so what you've got is a shell and the tassels that come down from the shell are just beautiful this is another shell there's coral there's a little stone down there there's these little chains that hang you've got a snail shell here and that and you've got a sea star or starfish and some more coral so i'm gonna go ahead and probably put eight on this piece it's 12. this is right about 30 inches so it's nice and long this is leather that thing looks new so we'll put eight on that It's really pretty. Okay, let's pull out some more. Okay, first we have kind of a plastic resin blue, and it's got glitter and swirls, very nice backs. So we'll do three on those. Man, this stuff is pretty. It's a nice set of stuff. This is cool. Look at this. You know, I'm not sure. This looks like wood and bone. Like a piece of petrified wood and bone is exactly what it looks like. Yep. And we have vertebrae. A bone. Woohoo! Okay, and then we have this beautiful kind of inlaid into the wood, some more bone. This is really cool, guys. Look at the little kind of animal print here. Those look like beads. Those look like wooden beads with more inserts. And so that's the top. So I'll put six on this one, and it is probably about 28. Now it's longer than that. So it's about 32 inches, I would say. Yeah, very interesting. And this could be um, like a horn, like an ox, either an oxen horn. Yeah. That's cool. Okay, we'll put six on that one. Very, very interesting. Okay, I'll set that over there. Um, oh, we have one of those cute little flowers. We got a little pendant here made out of that glass. That is so cute. Looks vintage to me. It's pretty. Should I do three on the flower? And it's all ready for a chain. That's sweet. Set that there. Okay, what is this? Well, that's pretty. This is a flat black metal chain. It is super long with a heart pendant that's kind of filigree. So that's right at 30 inches, and the heart is beautiful. I don't see any markings on this one. So we've got a black filigree heart here with a beautiful chain. And I think I'll put four on this one. It's very nice. Okay, next, we'll put all the bracelets over there. There's another one. Oh, wow. I'm so excited to have new stuff to look at. Just wonderful. Now, this is pretty. Pretty and interesting. These are... Oh, these are cool. Guys, these are plastic. And you've got these little um, gold, um, almost 
hammer coins that hang here. Do we have a maker mark? Do we have a class? Uh, I'm looking. Here's the, yes we do. This is what I thought it was, this premier design, guys. This is pretty. Look at that. Let me move this stuff out of the way. Move, move, get out of the way. There we go. So we have the faux tortoise shell. Let's put this on here so we can see it. It is really pretty. So we've got the, the coin, the sh tortoise shell, the plastic that's kind of a deep, dark amber color plastic. Then we have more of a yellow amber color here. And we've got some more just beautiful oblong circles here in plastic or resin or whatever that is. This is just really, really pretty. And then this is, of course, Premier Design. And there is the tag. This gold tone is perfect on it. Um, some of these are kind of a animal print with glitter. Yeah, this is cool. I've never seen this one. Never. Yeah, this animal print with glitter is so cute. You've got some really pretty gold faceted beads there with the AB wash. Um, I actually think I have it backwards because those coins aren't showing up right. Um, um, come on, show up. So that is just gorgeous. And it is a long one also. Um, about 36 inches, and I am going to put 10 on this one. Okay, I'm going to do a couple more, and I think then I'm going to have a birthday with my daughter. Oh my goodness, get off of there. Okay, we won't do a real long one. This is pretty. Now that does have a little bit of a scratch there. This looks like 1928. Look at the background. There is this, the scratch is like right there. I don't think you could really see it from a distance. It's got a beautiful Rolo chain. It does have a tag. Yeah, I was right. And it is 1928. The gold tone is spectacular. Look at that. It is so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? So I think what we'll do is put, um, the chain is 32 inches. And I think we'll put um, $7 on this one. And it is in excellent shape. All except for that one little scratch. Okay, 1928. Beauty. Next, we have. Oh, you guys, I'm gonna have to look at this. This looks like jade. Yeah, I think it is. It's super cold. Okay, we're gonna look at this one. I'll put it over to the side. I'm gonna have to check it to see what it's made out of and to see if it's a precious metal. This one's pretty. I think I've seen this. Have I seen this one before? It looks like I have. Hold on here. We've definitely going to have tangles, guys. I have not even opened these bags before today. Now, this is pretty. Okay, I'll put it over here with the bracelets that I haven't showed you yet. And that is right there. Okay, there's some more. Um, yeah, let's get through here. This is different. Okay, this is kind of cool. This does not have a tag on it. This is a really pretty dark colored metal. And that is the chain. And it is kind of, um, it's got little etched design to give it depth. And this is pretty. I like this. 
This is really cool, guys. This would make a t-shirt look good. Isn't that pretty? It is a deep charcoal metal, and it's got a lot of shine to it. But it's kind of, um, it's not flashy, but it's very pretty. Let me get a measurement for you real quick. And it is right at 15 inches, so it would be up a little higher on your neck. But this is fabulous. So I think, I think I'll put seven on this one. Okay, very pretty. Okay, next, I'm not sure how big this guy is. This is pretty. Oh, okay. Let's shake it here. Oh, it's on the extender, hold on. I'll put it back down a little bit. There we go, this is pretty. This is really, really pretty. Now these pieces are not glass, these are plastic or resin or whatever, acrylic. You have the golden seed beads. I'll show you the top part is excellent condition. Those are rounded, those won't get caught. The seed beads look great. This is a kind of an antique gold tone here. And this is pretty. Look at that. I think the first strand is 24, 26 inches. So it's 26 to 27 inches long. You have the almost jasper looking brown. You have an amber color. You have an olive color. You have a swirl pattern on that one. This one too. Yeah, this is really, really cool. So I, th and lightweight and beautiful. So we'll do eight on this one. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. We got a little tangle here. And then we got a little magnetizing. Oh, this is sweet. Let's see if it's all there. Oh, I like this, guys. This is summer. This is summertime, summertime. Okay, you have pink, darker pink, turquoise, kind of a, almost a lavender, light, light lavender, green, a little purpler, and some turquoise beads. This looks pretty good. Very little wear, if any. This is approximately 18 inches, and I think without the extender, it'd be about 17. So this is a little longer. Oh, isn't it cute? So let's do four on this one. It's just too sweet. Okay, we'll do four on that, and then we'll do a few more here, and then I'll get off and celebrate with my daughter. Okay, this is a hematite with tiger's eye. Um, if anybody would like this, let me know. I think I'll do a dollar on it. Nothing wrong with it. They're good for beads. The tiger's eye was pretty. Okay, this is um, a choker style, an older, like, um, what was it called? Um, Mm. I'm trying to think. I know they used to do it with pearls, um, like a pearl here, 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 and here, and then they put a crystal. It's like an invisible, yeah. This is pretty. It's got all kind of those beautiful um, art glass pieces on it. I doubt it's very long. I don't know. No, it is. It's longer, guys. It is almost 18 inches. So this is a nice size. So we'll put four on that. Yeah, it's like called the invisible or something. I'll think of it. Probably when the video's over. Oh, this is pretty. I think this amber is... I, I don't think this is... No, I can't tell. 
Where is my, hold on guys, let me get my Amber Teller. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think it's Amber. Wow, it sure is fluorescing. Hmm. You know, Amber feels so plasticky. I just don't think so. I just have this feeling it isn't. It's just too perfect. No, because I see the line. But anyway, it does have tiger's eye and what I think might be onyx beads on it. And it's just cute. It's not very long. It's about 16 inches. And that's with the extender. It is vintage. I think it's cute. It's got that pretty little piece there. Faux amber. And these beads, these are like little, those look almost like little pieces of rice. <laughs> oh, and the tiger's eye. Let's do three on that one. That's darling. What do you guys think of this so far? I think it's pretty. Um, this is uh, just shell. And some probably shell pieces. It's really pretty though because it's got these um, almost like coin shaped really pretty shell pieces there. It does have a nice clasp on it. Lobster. The silver tone on it is still in excellent shape. Somebody did a really good job making this. Um, and it is probably let's see 20, 20 inches or so, 20, no, this, let's do it again, there's 24, let's see, 24, 25, 32, it's probably closer to 40 inches, guys, it's really long, so we would want to maybe double it here, and look how pretty that is. So let's do seven on this one. I really like it. It's very, very pretty. Okay. I think this is like a multi-strand. Hold on here. Let's undo this. I don't see a maker on this one either. But it is really pretty. It's very well made. Um, I think we got a tangle in the center here. this around. I'm sure you get the idea of what this is supposed to be or look like, but I don't want it to be so tangled you can't even tell. There's that. And here's this. Okay. And Sorry, but I need to do this, guys. Tangles are part of the the way of jewelry. It's just the way it goes. Yeah, this is really pretty. If it wasn't so pretty, I wouldn't be going through all this. But it is very pretty. Um, let's see here. It was just so much fun. Not, it is not fun to do this. Some people like it. I like doing it, but not on camera. When I do it on camera, I get kind of frustrated. Or I think it gives me anxiety that people are saying, hurry up, hurry up. When I'm driving, I'm driving. Because that's what I'd be saying. Like, oh my God, hurry up. Okay, that's better. Okay, so what I'm going to show you is a faux pearl that has quite a few different um, strands. 
of jewelry, I mean of jewelry, of pearls. And they're real pretty. And I'll show it to you. And this will be fixed before I sell it. You know, before it goes to anybody. And this is probably, let's see here. With the extender, it could be 18 inches. It's about um, 15 inches right now. But it could be 18 very easily. And after I get it fixed, I'll put a twisty tie or something around it so it'll stay fixed. But it's really pretty. I should do like this. So we'll put three on that one, but I will work on it. Let's see. About ten more minutes and I will stop. Let me grab some. And of course we will finish this. I can do some more this evening. Um, here's some more bracelets. I'm just trying to do the necklaces right now. Oh, this is pretty. This is also another Premier Design. I'm so shocked. Premier Design. This is a frosted silver tone. It's got some beautiful stations on it. Wow. This thing looks brand spanking new. These are ceramic or... No, these are probably acrylic. These are beautiful. Can you guys see those? Those are gorgeous. Look at that. I just am in awe of this. This is so pretty. And it comes down this way. It's got a beautiful lobster on it. This can go down here and it will have quite an extender on it. Like I said, it's Premier Design. It is. It's about 32 inches. It's beautiful for the summer. It's not super lightweight, but it's light enough to where it's not going to bother you. I just, oh, this is pretty. Okay, so we're going to put eight on this one. It even sounds nice. Isn't that something? Okay, this is also, this is a bracelet. And guess what it is? It is Premier Design. I don't believe it. We'll look at it later. They must have known that I was purchasing this lot. Because, oh gosh, it's another Premier Design. I don't believe it. Wow. And this is just a 17 pound lot. It is, you know, yeah, wearable. Wearable lot. That's all it was. There was nothing to say it had all this premier design or anything. If it had, I'd really been, yeah, I'd been ecstatic. Okay, this is beautiful. And of course the bracelet is a match. So this is a matching set. And this is absolutely gorgeous, especially for the summer. The colors are beautiful. We've got blue. Um, beachy blue and some yellow like the sunrise. This looks like the ocean. Let me put that over there. Out of the way. Isn't that beautiful? And then we have, of course, the necklace. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Love it. Okay, the necklace itself is probably more of a choker style. It's very pretty, but it is 15 inches, so it's not short, short. So we've got that at 15 inches. Now let's measure this real quick. At the first circle, it is eight and a half. The second circle, it is a little less than seven and a half. So I'll put that there and across and hook it for me. Beautiful. So for this premier design piece with the ceramic beads and the gold tone, um, it's got like um, five-sided bugle beads and just seed beads on here also. Um, I'm going to put 15 on this set. That's beautiful, guys. 
This is like summertime fun. Okay. Oh my. Yay. Here we go. Um, it's a fishing net, and I love it. And I love it. I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> this is so cute. <sighs> I love it. All I need is an orange bracelet. I don't see one. Okay, guys. This is a keeper for me. There is no maker mark. I just love it. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. Isn't that cute? Yep. Next time I go to Florida, I'll be wearing it. Let's set it over here so I don't mess it up. Yeah, I do keep a piece or two. Or three or four or five. No, that's not very nice. This is pretty. This does not have a maker mark either. This is really pretty. Okay, let's get it hooked. This has the most beautiful back and front. Look at this. Look at those stones. They're plastic, resin. Um, I'll show you the side view on them. Isn't that cool? This is a shorter piece. It's, it's lightweight. It's pretty. It is, let's see, 14, a little over 14 inches. And it'll go up to 16 with your extender. And it is gorgeous. It looks like sunshine. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so we'll put four on that one. I love this stuff. I love going through stuff like this. Okay, this is pretty. It is not marked. I'm going to put it down to the um, smaller. This is a double strand. Oh, this is neat. Look. Leopard print. Ceramic beads here. Or glass. Ceramic is, you know, like glass. Then we've got the gold tone beads here with the AB with the gold tone AB wash and their jewels, jewel cut. Look at that. Mother of Pearl. Wow. These beads are fabulous. Isn't that pretty? That looks like it's on Mother of Pearl. That's what it looks like, but I think they are plastic. I'm I'm not sure. But it is gorgeous. And let's get a measurement on it real quick. This is, let's see, about 28 inches. And I'll show it to you from the side. Isn't that pretty? So we'll put five on this one. It is gorgeous. Okay. Oh, here we go again. These multi-strand thinner necklaces are the devil. They are the devil. No, Mama, foosball is not the devil. She said, foosball is the devil. Anyway. Um, here we go. This is going to be pretty. Very pretty. These, I do believe, I think those are glass beads. This is beautiful, guys. Okay, this is like a six-stranded. Six-strand. It's not stranded. Six-strand. Of beauty. Beautifulness. Sometimes you can just flip this inside out and it'll kind of straighten up because it's gotten twisted in here with all this jewelry. Jewelry. Um, 
Okay, so let's try to work it out. There we go. Let's see if that helps. Yeah, it's almost done on this side. Let me work on this real quick. Cute. It's cute. It's going to be cute. Okay. I think that might have helped some. Okay, so what we've got here is, like I said, six strands of beautiful beads. They are greens and pinks and creamy whites and yellow and very pretty and they are they will sit on your neck kind of like that and this is another piece I'll just straighten it out for you before I send it if anybody's interested in it it's very pretty That's all I got to do is figure out which way to twist it. And I'll give you a measurement on this. The beads are gorgeous. The gold tone is fabulous, and of course it would be tangled. So this is right about, let's see, where would it be? 17 inches, or 14 inches, I'm sorry. And the extender, they, it could be 15. It's very pretty. So let's do four on this one. I think it would be very pretty as a choker. And like I said, I'll fix it before I send it and make sure it's um, packed carefully so it doesn't get all tangled up again. Okay. All righty. We have another nice necklace. <laughs> this is a nice lot. And let's see here. We have... A whole bunch of butterflies and they are so cute oh they are so cute you've got a leaf a butterfly a heart another butterfly these are kind of a plastic the leaves are metal it's a double chain here let's see let's do this sometimes you have to like undo it and pull one side over and out to get them to lay correctly. There we go. I think that fixed it. Yep. There's that. All right. This is very pretty. The chain is nice. The chain is silver tone. This is kind of gold and silver. So this is a uh, mixed metals, mixed colored metals, and this is beautiful. Very, it's nice and light. Um, this is a little over 16 inches. It's a nice size, but this is darling. Now I've got it totally backwards, so now, there we go. Wow. So let's do six on this one. I really like this. This is very pretty. Okay, we're doing really good. Oh, I think this is stones. This looks like, um, that looks like a quartz or an Apache tear or something. Look at that. Then that looks like citrine. That looks like quartz, adventurine. That looks almost like amber. It's probably citrine. I don't know. I don't think that's amber, but hmm. it does have some little. It's got some little striations in it that are fluorescing. But that's okay. It, I'm not going to sell it that way, you know. I don't know if you can see them or not. But anyway, um, this is real pretty. This is a vintage piece. Um, it does have a lobster on it, but I think it's an older wire wrap piece. And 
I think it's really pretty. It is a lighter gold tone. It's not super gold. Um, it's a little bit faded over on this side. It kind of turns back into kind of a silvery color. But if anybody's interested in this, this is right at 18 inches. I think it's really pretty. We could do, um, let's do $3 on it just for the stones alone. It's pretty. Okay. Um, this is really pretty. This is, what is this? This is Vintage America is what it's called. It says something West, Vintage America. I've never heard of this. This is so cute. It is leather. This is really pretty. Let me check and make sure everything is on here. Hold on. This is cool. Nope, we're missing one stone. Well, I have to set it over to the side, see if I find the stone. The stone would just go in, um, it's got like, um, it just goes down in like this one, you know, it just kind of snaps down in there. So I will see if I can't find that. Everything else is good. Um, I could actually take these two off. So if anybody's interested, I'm still going to do five on this. It's got the jewelry tag. Very interesting. Jewelry tag right there. And like I said, it says... I think that says... The West Vintage America Collection. That's what I think it's saying. So... Let me know, guys, but I will try to find that piece. It could be in any of these bags. And then next is another cutie. Oh, I like this. I am not sure what these designs are. I know the peace signs. I'm not sure what this is. But it does have the lotus and the peace and um, some type of a... This is at 5X. It's got a little tiger's eye bead right there. How stinking cute. This is about 16 inches, maybe a little shorter. And it would really set pretty. It's like a frosted gold tone. Very interesting, guys. Very interesting. I like it. 5X is the name of the company. I don't know if you can see it. Isn't that pretty? So let's just do five on this. It's in excellent shape, guys. Very, very pretty. Okay. This looks like pewter. DD. Oh, this says, this is beautiful. This is pewter. This says hope, dream, love. Um. Trust and believe, and I don't see a maker mark tag on it. This is probably a hallmark. I bet you it is. But it's in fabulous condition. It's pewter. This um, chain, it's just a metal chain, but it's a, the popcorn chain. And these little charms are perfect. So you've got green, light blue, red, yellow, and, well, gold, and then a light yellow. So I'm going to put six on this one. This is cute. And it is about uh, almost 18 inches. Like it. Isn't that nice? We've got just 
few more things in here, and we've got a few more minutes to kill. So, oh, guys, look. Ah, oh, this is so cool. I think those match this. <gasps> this is so cool. Where did the other one go? Hey, you guys know I had the other ear. There it is. Okay, so down here we have what almost looks like a satellite <laughs> and a round bead. There are seed beads here. This is a match to this. We have some white in there. This is so cool. Look at this bead. <gasps> this is so cool. I don't know why I like it. It, it is cool. It's asymmetrical. It has a clasp here that are two C's that clasp together. I don't think they say anything. Nope, I don't see any writing on them. Not a bit. This set is so neat. So this is how it goes on your neck. Or, no, there's no way. Might go like this. <laughs> surprise, surprise. It might go like this. What do you guys think? Probably. Oh, this is so cute. Yeah, and that would kind of weigh this down so it'll stay down like that. Anyway, I'm putting 20 on this. I just love it. And it's like acrylic. Just beautiful. This is so cool. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Oh, boy. Like I said, I'm just so glad to have new jewelry. And hopefully everybody gets it. And what is this? <gasps> Holy moly. Okay, I'm going to put this over to the side. <laughs> We'll show that in a little bit. Oh, this is cute. These beads are great. I don't know if anybody liked the bracelet part of it. The plastic. So I'll just put, I'll put three on that. Those are neat. Those are like acrylic beads. And they have like a design on the inside. Yeah, these are cool. So that's three. I'll put that over there, put that over there. Wow. Is this a belt? This is a belt. This is a pretty belt too. This is, um, American Glamour Madgley, Bish Badgley Mishka. What? What? Uh -oh. Okay. Well, this one I'm going to have to look up. We will just put that right there. Okay. Badgerly Mishka. Love it. This is pretty, guys. This is, you know, I like hammered metal. This does not have a maker mark. I'll show you the back. And I'll show you the front. Oh, this is cool. This is so cool. That's the way. I like it. So it is about 20 inches and it is so cool. It's like articulated, it's hammered. It's in excellent shape. Love it. It's got an extender on it. It could be probably 22 inches. So let's put um, let's put 10 on this one. It's in great shape. Just great shape. Then you've got your lobster here, the gold tone. Kind of an antiqued gold tone is beautiful. This is pretty. Very fancy. Very fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Okay, here's some more of them. Okay, this has a gold tone clasp. Very nice. Lobster. These seem to be glass beads. They're very pretty. Yeah, these are glass. Okay, I'll show you this. This is a beautiful gold. 
tone with some yellows and some beautiful, these are all crystal beads. These ones that are clear, like that one, this one, that one. Then we've got some that almost look like stones. Yeah, this is pretty. It's got some rondelles. I'll just show it to you slowly. This is really pretty. So this is probably 32 inches. Some of these beads are designed like lamprey glass. They have designs on them. Um, yeah, this is really, really pretty. So let's do, um, let's do seven on this one. Very nice. This lot is beautiful. This stuff is not worn. You know, there's no wear to it. Um, this is gorgeous. Wow. This is gorgeous. Let's see. Where in the world? Where is that? Um, trying to find... Is that it? No, that's not it. Okay, it's got to be up here. I have lost it. <laughs> Where is it? Does it go over your head? No. Oh my God, I've got it upside down. Okay, this doesn't have a tag either. This thing is really, really nice. It is beautiful. It's like a triple strand. It just needs to be twisted um, and corrected as far as some of these here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So you know the best way to do it. Is to unhook it. See if you can get it to lay better that way. Oh yeah, that was all up in there. Up in there. This is too cool. Let's pull this over and under. Yeah, I got it that quick. Look at this, you guys. This thing is fabulous. Look at this. Then you've got the um, beads here that come up. It's a frosted gold. It is beautiful. It is approximately 20 inches. At the first piece, that's how it looks. Oh my God, this is beautiful. So, there is no maker mover on this, but you know what? It is absolutely gorgeous. It is gorgeous. You see, we got something tangled up in here. Hold on. I want it to lay right so you can see it. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's right. I really do. Um, let me pull this up and out. Over here, maybe. But yeah, it's really easy to figure out. Because you can see how it lays. But anyway, this one is 10. I love it. It's orange and gold tone. And fabulous and beautiful. And there's, look. It's fringy and full and summery. Yes, it's very nice. Oh, this is pretty. Oh my goodness. This is really pretty. This is a kind of a matte and um, shine finish cross. This is vintage. I don't see anything on it. That is the back. The front is right here. Turn over, please. It's like, um, what do you call it? Makes it look, look like it's um, got depth to it. I'll show you up close. Isn't that pretty? 
So we've got kind of a frosty and a matte gold, I mean a shiny and then a matte gold behind it to make it look like it's 3D. This is very pretty. It's not gold tone, it's just gold tone, it's not anything precious metal. It is 16 inches, it is vintage, and it is pretty. So I'll put four on that one. That's darling. Okay, what else do we have? Wow, we've got some stuff here. I'll tell you what, I will put all the bracelets we didn't get to look at right here. I'll look up that Badgley Mishka. I'll put all these here. This one, this one is fabulous. Um, what else did we have? We had, oh, this little group here. Okay. So we're gonna stop right there. We're at an hour and five minutes. That's good enough. We will continue on with the 17 pound Goodwill lot. And we have some beautiful pieces to show. And I'm very, very happy with this, okay? All right, you guys, we'll talk to you probably later on this evening or tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys.